Hope you're having a good day today. We're going to be thinking about Psalm 23. Today's hymn is an old hymn. Once again, not in some of the newer songbooks, but the hymn is Bring Them In. Hark, tis the shepherd's voice I hear Out in the desert dark and drear Calling the lambs who've gone astray Far from the shepherd's fold away Bring him in, bring him in, bring them in from the fields of sin. Bring him in, bring him in, bring the wandering ones to Jesus. Arked is the shepherd's voice I hear. Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup runs over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Needless to say, so many points that we can make from this psalm that is so many people's favorites. I think one of the points that I always appreciate is how it changes from speaking of God to speaking to God. Speaking of the Lord to speaking to the Lord. He makes me to lie down. He restores my soul. Yea, though I walk, I will fear no evil for you. Now it changes to the you. Speaking to the Lord. You are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Just wanted to briefly think about the idea of the Lord being our shepherd. And to consider a, a few other verses that the Lord is our shepherd and we are the sheep of his fold but all we all we like all we like sheep have gone astray that passage is Isaiah where it speaks of that Isaiah 53 pointing to the suffering savior and it's verse verses 5 and 6 he was wounded for our transgression transgressions he was bruised for our iniquities by his stripes we are healed. All we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned every one to his own way, and the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. And that's the truth, as we think about the Lord being our shepherd. That there is a difference between the sheep and the goats, but even, even the sheep... All, all we like sheep have gone astray. And the good shepherd went looking for us. Went looking for even just the one. He goes looking for every one of us. That's one of the points to be made in the parable of the parable of the sheep and then the parable of the coin and then the parable of the sons. As it goes from one out of a hundred to down to one out of ten, down to one out of two. The point is, how much does the Lord value the one? All we like sheep have gone astray. The Lord died for us. He says in John chapter 10, John chapter 10 now, My sheep hear my voice. John 10, obviously the chapter about Jesus being the good shepherd. And he speaks to this in several times throughout this chapter. But the sheep hear his voice, he calls his own, and his sheep, he calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. He uses this illustration, but they didn't understand. They didn't understand. The good shepherd who gives his life for the sheep. Then we have the Gentiles being added to the king. All these things. I am the good shepherd. And we hear the shepherd's voice. Even the hymn 
pointed to that picture. Hark, tis the shepherd's voice I hear. We listen to him. We listen to him as we follow him, and we listen to him as we encourage others to follow him. too. And we do that because of who, who the Lord is and what a blessing it is to, to follow the Lord. I'd like to look in 1 Peter now. In 1 Peter where it describes Jesus as the shepherd once again. 1 Peter chapter 2 at verse 25. For you were for like sheep going astray, but have now returned to the shepherd and overseer of your soul. And I believe that word for overseer King James Bishop. It's the word episkopos there. The overseer of your soul. And this is why we bring them. This is why we bring them in. This is why we have come in. And these are the blessings found in the Lord's pasture. He is the overseer. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. You make me to lie down in green pastures. The blessings that are found in the oversight of Jesus as he's the head of the church. He's the head of the body. And the blessings that are found in that oversight. He's not a hireling. He doesn't flee at trouble. He's there and he protects us. And he builds good fences. And yeah, sometimes we get out. <laughs> we get out because sometimes we're... Sometimes we're just silly. Sheep aren't known for their intelligence. Let me put it like that. But the Lord comes looking for us. And so as we follow him, we help others to hear the Lord's voice as well. Bring them in. Appreciate you. Hope you have a good day. Join us tomorrow for another portion of our daily praise.